The UT Arlington Mavericks have a lot to prove following last year's 74-61 loss to Georgia State in the Sun Belt Championship. UTA fired head coach Scott Cross and hired former Texas Tech assistant coach Chris Ogden over the offseason. The transition has been great, uh, our players have been great, the community, the fans, the students, everybody has been wonderful in the transition. When you look at the Mavs, you can see the team chemistry has improved this season. Junior Scott Muirhead says this is one of the strengths the Mavs have. Definitely our team chemistry and then getting out and running on offense. Uh, all of our guys are athletic and uh, yeah, I'd say definitely those two are our strengths. The Mavs play their home games at the College Park Center on UTA's campus. Students are able to come to games for free at UTA, but there's rarely a sold out crowd. For some students, watching this team is one of the best things about being at UTA. If it wasn't for this basketball team, there really wouldn't be anything to do here on campus. Uh, UTA doesn't really have a football team, and it's just been really cool to get behind these basketball players and follow this team throughout the season. Ask any UTA basketball player, and they'll tell you the same thing. They want more fans at the games. We need y'all's support at our games. Uh, definitely homecoming. Uh, we're playing uh, Northern Iowa next Saturday, and that's going to be a huge game for us. So if we can get you know everyone there, that would be greatly appreciated. Fan participation is super important to Coach Ogden as well. We get a chance to look at uh, a championship team. I don't know if it'll be this March. We plan on it. Uh, but at some point, this team right here with these guys is going to be a championship team. And it's a chance to get your first glimpse at it. And nothing matters to us more. Uh, the winning games uh, and winning games is, is an equal part of us and the crowd and the students getting everybody out to a game We all feel a part of it. We need the, the, the fans as much as as much as anybody And it seemed like all of UTA showed up to the homecoming game where they watched UTA defeat Northern Iowa Now since that game it has been a bit of a rough stretch for UTA as they have lost three in a row Coming into their game against UT Rio Grande Valley the Mavs continue to grow as the season continues, heading into conference play next semester. Coach Ogden has high hopes as he believes the Mavs can compete with anyone. I think, you know, individual teams and just the conference in whole is a, is a very good conference that, uh, that we're excited to compete in, uh, but it's going to be a huge challenge for us. Fans of the team share that belief as well. I think UT is going to be just fine. Um, you know, we're playing hard, uh, we're looking okay, and... I think we're going to have an okay time in the Sun Belt, and honestly, I think this team could get back to the championship game. Something the UTA Mavs are shooting for as well. Whether they make it though, only time will tell. The ball is in their court.